and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie and this is the week 35, August the 23rd through the 29th weekly wrap up. So it is week 35. It is still my birthday month. And as you can see on the thumbnail, you guys are still coming through. I did receive some of the books that I had ordered um, from authors. So I'm super excited about that uh, to open up for you guys. But let's take one moment for Chadwick Boseman. son and I were thinking about doing another revision of uh, the of the Marvel <laughs> the MCU marathon that we did um, Wow a while back uh, I'll link it in the cards if you guys haven't seen it we did like a whole vlog where we watched all of the, all 22 of the movies at the time and um, we were just thinking about doing another one of those since we have more movies that have come out and we can add them into and, you know, watch 24, 25, whatever. How many ever movies are out right now? And, um, you know, I think it's still hitting me that he has passed away and um, it's sad and um, jarring because we're the same age and, um, you know, he was just very impactful. Um to my son's life and to my life, uh, to watching movies and things like that, bringing enjoyment and all. So, ooh, didn't think I was going to get emotional about that. Um, I knew I wanted to say something. Um, just watching everyone's uh, Instagram feeds and, you know, Twitter and stuff like that. Uh, I didn't want to do what everyone else was doing and uh, post the 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 put out pictures of him we all know what he looks like we all know the glamour shots uh that were you know put out and i am so thankful someone said over on twitter or instagram or facebook i don't know where it was but i am i am i have to say the sentiment as well um i am so happy that it was his family that released it and um that he was with his family when he passed, uh, and just, cancer freaking sucks. Cancer fucking sucks. Cancer fucking sucks. Sucks so bad. So, okay, enough about that. Let's unbox some of these packages so I can do some, uh, on-screen thank yous, um, and everything like that, and then I have a slew of books to talk about. I have ten books to talk about, so hopefully you guys are along for the ride, and, um, you know, you're ready for it. If you're not here for the unboxing portion of it, make sure you check the description box so that you can look at the timestamps. So if there's a particular book that you're looking for, or if you just want to jump to the book reviews, you can do that down in the description box. Also down there is my Ko-fi and my PayPal uh, links, my affiliate links, and all my social links so that you can uh, follow me everywhere and on different platforms and everything like that. So let's get to it. First, I'm going to open up um, my requested signed paperbacks um, from Kennedy Ryan. I am so happy about this. Uh, the only thing I'm unhappy about is that uh, she just put out that she's going to be redoing the grip covers, which now means I'll have to buy more books, uh, which isn't a bad thing. I don't mind it at all, um, but... I thought I had completed my collection of books. So this one is Queen Move that I can now put with my collection. Uh, this book is about Kimba, who is um, part of the, she's a spin, it's a spinoff book. It can be read as a standalone. She's amazing. Kimba is this fierce uh, woman that is, you know, going through something in her life and she goes back home and she runs back into the boy that kind of got away and same for him but there are things that um are revealed 
people have moved on. People have, um, you know, done things with their lives and, you know, she has some decisions to make and I just really, really love this book and I'm super happy to have a copy of it for my shelves now. And then my other Kennedy package is a copy of her four traditionally published books, which is a series. And let me see if I can put these in order. Three, four, two. Okay, so now they're in order. Um, I can show you guys. So we have When You're Mine, the Bennett series, book number one. Loving You Always, Bennett series, book number two. Be My Forever, Be Mine Forever, book number three, Bennett series. And Until I'm Yours, the Bennett series, book number four. So super excited. I have not actually read these yet. Um, these are the only books of Kennedy's that I have not read. Um, and it's probably because they were traditionally published. And um, I found Kennedy with the Grip series and starting her uh, indie publishing. So yes, I've been with her since Grip and have read every book except for these four. Okay, on to some of the fun packages, some that I don't know what they are. Um, I just received them in the mail from Amazon. So let's get into it. Let's see, I ordered a copy of A Secret for a Secret by Helena Hunting. And now my collection for this series is complete. Super excited about that. Um, I believe this package is yes so my read me romance summer program t-shirt boom Yay! Summer reading program came in. Super excited about that. Yay! I mean, the summer reading program is almost over, but I now have my t-shirt for it, and I'm super excited about that. Another Amazon package! Charles mwah, 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 got me a copy of Finding Home Again by Brenda Jackson. This is part of the Love and Catalina Cove series and I adored this book. I adored this series. It is so good. Um, lots of secrets and you know just things that end up happening. It keeps you on the edge of your seat and I just really 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 enjoyed it. So thank you Charles. And Amazon tripping because they they didn't they didn't like look at that they're like oh we got to get this out quickly quickly got another Amazon package and Charles once again he finished off my set. Uh, of Forgive Me Not, which is a book number Forget Me Not. Did I say forgive? Forget. Forget. See, forget. Um, this one is book number two. That was book number three, and I had book number one. So, yes, thank you, Charles. Book number four comes out at the beginning of next year, and I requested it over on NetGalley, I believe. I may actually already have it. I'm not sure. I'll have to check my Kindle to see if I actually got it already or if I just requested it. But regardless, I love this series and I can't wait to read the next book. And thank you. Thank you again, Charles, for sending that to me. And then the final book is a book that I purchased. 
and that is beyond what is given by Rebecca Yaros. This completes, no, this does not complete. This is book number four. Nope, this is book number three. Book number three. I have book number four right here. So here's this series and on Monday, I will have book number five come to me. Um, I don't know if I did an unboxing of these or not, but I have a vlog coming for these books shortly. So be on the lookout for that if you want to know more about these books right here because, whoo, yeah, you can see the reviews for them in past weeks. I will link them in the cards so that you can see the reviews for those. But yeah, amazing 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 okay let's get into what i read last week Woo! 10 books like i said before um i'm just gonna get into it get down in the weeds with it and get these reviews out because oh i had an amazing week um you guys it, it was just crazy because i mean i got the pleasure and honor of reading um the first five books of the Salvation series um, that I'm going to talk to you about in as I read them because I read books in between them so I'm just going to put it out there that the Salvation series is or so I, ugh, five books in the Salvation Society. Whew, let's see if I can get that out. So and if you don't know what the Salvation Society is it is a expounded world that Corinne Michaels allowed other authors to play in uh, based off of her her Salvation series. Um, I've talked about the Salvation series. I love the Salvation series. Uh, here are the books. You know, I'll have them going as I'm talking about this. Um, and I really, really love this series oh so much. So to have other authors sort of play in the world, it was really, really interesting and fun and uh I will discuss more about each book as we go along. But let's get to the books that I read uh, in chronological order starting last week. So the first book that I finished was Shadowland Sector, book number two by Mila Young. This is a paranormal romance, post-apocalyptic book. Uh, I give it 4.25 stars. I give it the Racing Fans. Read it as an ebook. Uh, this has is that middle book for Mira, Dusin, Lucin, Lucian, bleh, and Barthel. They all, Mira is on the run, and she, oh. so I don't know how I can go into this without giving spoilers. Um, I did read Shadowlands book number one. It ended on a cliffhanger, and I was just like, what, what, what? So, Shadowlands Sector book number one is was part of the zombie year 2099 um, collection and it has now been expounded into its own series which I'm super excited about. So we have werewolves and zombies and the world has been taken over uh, by this virus. Uh, these packs are living together and um, they're trying to survive and things like that while Mira was supposed to go to Andor Sector. She ended up getting off the plane and ended up in Shadowland Sector instead, which is a different set of wolves. These are ash wolves. Um, and they are not necessarily immune to the zombies like the other wolves in Andor Sector. So there's a huge thing going on. Mira is out in the wilderness right now running from Dusin, Lucian, and Barthel, right? And this is it's named as a reverse harem. I'm cool with saying it's a polyamorous freaking relationship. Um, but if this is what reverse harem was supposed to be, then I am down for it because there was no real sort of animosity or there was no, this female character has a golden pussy, um, sort of feel to it. It just was that Mira is attracted to all three of these men for all three different reasons and that that I can get behind that I am down for and everything like that well 
this book leaves us on a cliffhanger as well and Shadowlands Sector book number three doesn't come out for another couple months and I am chomping at the bit to read the next book. I also would love, I'm putting this out there in the world, so maybe it will happen if Mila and Lexi C. Foss does another crossover because I like the dynamics that were shown in book number one and in parts of different uh, Andor sector um, or X Clan. X Clan is Lexi's uh, series. How the two like meshed up and they worked so well together. I would love another crossover book. Love another crossover book. Mila, Lexi, can you can can you can you make my heart sing, please? Please. I greatly appreciate it. The next book that I finished was Cracked Kingdom, which is the Royals number five by Aaron Watt. This is a YA uh book. I give it 2.5 stars. I give it one Steam fan. I listen to it as an audiobook, and I don't know why. I don't know why I like this series in the first place. I mean the fourth book left off in a cliffhanger and it's taken me months to come back to the series to actually finish it and I don't even know why I did it. Don't know why I did it. So this last book follows Easton and Hartley. Um, if you read the fourth book in it, um, in the series, what was it? Fourth book. What is the fourth book? Fallen Air. So if you read Fallen Air, you know the cliffhanger and Easton and Hartley are in that one as well. Um, I don't know. I can't remember if I actually liked Easton and Hartley in book number four or if I didn't. I, I'd have to go back and look. Um, but in this one, they're privileged. They're white. They're rich. They run around with no parental guidance. And it was a mess. This whole damn book was a mess a mess a mess a mess and then you had a whole bunch of stuff that was just thrown in that was just like nonsense and mentions of different characters but no evolution for the characters and it just bleh. let me wipe that from my mind right so I wiped that from my mind by reading 10 years later by Jay Sterling this is a contemporary I give it four stars. I give it two Steam fans. I listen to it as an audiobook. This is a high school reunion story, second chance love, high school sweethearts, whatever you want to say about it, people having secret crushes, things like that. So we have Cammy, who is a radio producer slash personality. Um, her personalities that she produces on the radio like to pull her in and they find out that she is going to her class reunion and she is hoping that she sees the guy that she had a crush on um you know or had a connection with while she was in high school and that guy is Dalton he was the class president they had a special connection and throughout this story you get to see flashbacks of certain points um, of their connection and I really liked it. I liked how swoony and sweet and you know good it was and it, it just it, it it touched my heart and it was it was lovely. It was so lovely. I have no words besides it was lovely and I really really enjoyed it. Then <clears throat> I put my big girl panties on and I finished The Reality of Everything, which is Flight and Glory number five. It released this week and by Rebecca Yaros. <sighs> Give this book five stars. Give it three Steam fans. Read it as an arc, but like I said, it came out because I would have had it done. But this whole entire series, the Flight and Glory series, is emotional and it really grabbed me. And it took me a couple days to get through the first couple pages because... We follow Morgan and Jackson and Finley and Morgan is going through some things that happened and you get to see the culmination of the first four books and her feelings about things that happened in those first four books blow up in this one and it took me a little bit. It took me a little bit to be able to really emotionally set into it and once I did... I was like, oh, okay, it, this book was still just as emotional. Um, I do like the fact that we have 
moved from the army aspect of it to um, a branch that I am fairly familiar with, which is the Coast Guard. And, you know, Jackson is a single dad and Finley is his daughter and she's super sweet. She plays a big part in this story. And um, I just love the three of them together. Um, and this book really talks about grief and overcoming and um, dealing, not, not, not just overcoming your grief, dealing with that grief and processing that grief. And oh, some of those, I still had moments where I was just emotionally drained and stripped. But like I said, I put on my big girl panties and made it through and it was the ending was bittersweet and I would love 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 to have a spin-off series um with some of the Coast Guard guys that we have seen in this book and get their stories and uh just open up a whole new world of you know possibilities and I'm here for it um Rebecca Yaros with this book with this series made her way onto my top 10 list and I and will be a stand and you guys just better get ready because you will be hearing that author's name on this channel a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot the next book that I finished was seconds by Freya Barker and this is a romantic suspense I give this book 4.25 stars. I give it three steam fans. I read it as an arc. This is part of the Salvation Society. And this book follows Jackson Cole's sister, who her name is Reagan. She is a lawyer. And it took me a little bit because this is the first book in the Salvation Society that I had picked up. Um, I received all five of the first five um, at the same time. So I didn't have to wait. But I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to read all of these books. And I ended up devouring them. Um, this one started off slow because I wasn't sure where this connection was going to be, how this is a new author to me. I've never read anything from Freya B Barker before. And I was like, I don't know. I love, I love the Salvation series. Oh, so much. How are you guys going to, how are you going to, how are you, Freya, going to play with, Jackson's sister and that did not sound right but she is a lawyer and she has this ex-husband that's a douchebag um so she has divorced him she's cut ties and started her own practice well her practice is set up in uh Cal's building and he is a bail bondsman I think that's what they're called um but one night she ends up running into him and come to find out Cal knows Jackson and then of course Reagan is Jackson's sister um so then some things start happening and um it turns into a romantic suspense I don't want to say anything more about that because I don't want to spoil um this story uh the characters are over 30 which I absolutely love actually I think it's they're over 35 in this one I can't remember. There's a little bit of an age gap, but they are older characters, and I was here for it. Here for it. Loved it, because they were both established in, you know, their lives. Um, Cal ends up needing Reagan to help defend him um, in a case, so there's a little tidbit there. But loved, loved the romantic s suspense that came along with it and the whole finding love and it was just so good. It was so good. I devoured it. I devoured it. So then I finished Reformation by Shel Sloan. This is another romantic suspense. I give it 4.5 stars. I give it 3.5 steam fans. I read this one as an arc. This is another book in the Salvation Society. This one follows Mark and Charlie's brother. So Mark's brother, Charlie's brother-in-law. And I was a little leery. I was a little hesitant. A little hesitant at the beginning of this because Garrett was a straight douchebag was not a fan of Garrett. I was like, <sighs> but I understood it because Mark can come off as a little brusque. So to have Garrett, 
who is Mark's brother, being a doctor, being um, divorced, and, you know, just doing the, the, having his own practice and everything like that. I was just like, oh, ooh, ah, mm, mm. Then, 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 in walks Paige, this amazing, amazing, amazing kindergarten teacher who is so sweet and such a do-gooder. And she ends up having a backstory that just breaks your heart. And, um, and I loved, loved, loved that we had this extra little person this extra little character, Colin, who is Charlie and Mark's um, son. Oh, just made me smile throughout this whole entire book. I, he was everything that you could think of to be their son, and it just fit perfectly. All of the all of the little pieces in this story fit so well. Um, then some things end up happening, and um, you know people's past start to come. Uh, to the forefront, and I was just here for the story. I loved it. I devoured it. I devoured it. Um, the title starts to, you know, reveal itself, and I loved this book. Loved it. Oh, so much. The next book that I finished was Fearless by Shell Bliss. This I placed in Contemporary. Whew. Gave this one four stars. Gave this one two steam fans read it as an arc this is part of the salvation society as well and this one follows mckenna who is mark and charlie's daughter um this is when she is all grown up and she is off doing her own thing um but you still get to see a healthy dose of mark and charlie's influence on her she's now joined the navy and she ends up meeting this guy named austin and I enjoyed it, but there was a little bit of a repeat when it came to why Austin and McKenna sort of hooked up, and I, there was just a little something missing and a little bit of a repeat when it came to uh, the new family uh, that was introduced in here, Austin's family, and uh, that's what sort of, you know, it, there wasn't enough progression for me within their relationship. But I did enjoy it, and uh, it was good. It was good. Then I read Fool in Love by Danielle Allen. I placed this in contemporary novella. This is a novella set around April Fool's Day. I give it three stars. I give it three Steam fans. I listen to it on the podcast of Read Me Romance. Read, read me romance. This is a black author. Kenya is this shy... Um, what is it? Workaholic? Yep. Shy workaholic. She goes to a speed dating event where she meets Malik. Well, her and Malik actually have a past connection, and it's just a short little novella about their speed dating, um, and then it's over. I don't know. Yeah. So there's that. Then I picked up and finished Faithless by Megan Green. Uh, I placed this in Forbidden uh, Contemporary. I gave it 4.25 stars. I gave it two Steam fans. I read this one as an arc. This is part of the Salvation Society. And this one follows Liam and Natalie's son, Shane. And he is a dad of two, ends up having, um, something ends up happening to his wife. And... Kate, his sister-in-law, ends up coming to town, and there are family secrets. I don't want to spoil anything, but there are family secrets and things that need to be overcome through this. Um, she is a journalist, Kate is a journalist, and I liked how many parallels there were within this story, and that's all I'm going to say about it, because I don't want to spoil anything. I really enjoyed that the author knew the world that they were taking and, you know, expounding on uh, for pretty much all of the Salvation Society stuff. Then the last book that I read last week, last week was Deviate by Esther E. Schmidt. Uh, I place this in Romantic Suspense, also a motorcycle club suspense uh, romance. 
I give it 4.5 stars. I give it four Steam fans. I read this one as an arc. This is part of the Salvation Society as well. And this is Charlie and Mark's son, Cullen. Yes. 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 So happy. Um, he is also walking in the footsteps of his parents and um, becomes this, well, he actually calms down just a little bit just a little bit calms down um that is where this book sort of lost that half a star is because there were a couple of things that i think uh esther and and shell sloan may no shell bliss should have sort of gotten together um about when it comes to the story because there are some characters that ended up doing some different things um within this but uh overall i really really liked it uh esme who is the female lead and the mc club's president outgoing president's daughter she's badass she is so badass so Esme and Cullen actually meet on a mission and Cullen ends up writing a scathing report about Esme and uh, the, the way that she was handled or how she handled the situation, um, which starts their sort of almost love-hate relationship. She is just not a fan. Um, he has major respect for, him, for her, but um, at the same time, he's very sort of by the book um i did like that uh sort of feel because shell sloan gave us cullen as this wild child and then we have esther who has given us you know buttoned up and tame cullen and i was just like okay i could see how that could evolve how that could become um and how connected that could be uh, but like I said, there was a couple other characters that were shown that were like, but that's not how that, that went. I kind of wish they had like discussed some, some, some aspects, but overall, I really, really enjoyed this story and it was suspenseful. Um, I don't want to give away what it is about because just I don't want to do that it deals with an MC and um cool security and the uh the footsteps in which Colin decides to take to be like his parents but that's all I'm going to say about that so I must say if you haven't figured out I really really enjoyed the Salvation Society I'm saying it again because I think I said it in the beginning um but I really enjoyed the Salvation Society I loved how much the books flowed together and we got to see this first set um there are about 50 uh 50 different authors that are going to be writing in this so you guys will be seeing um more salvation society books i can't wait um to get to them because it's introducing me to a whole bunch of new authors and uh into a whole bunch of new worlds and so far they are doing an amazing job at integrating their worlds into a world that i already love and appreciate so what am i currently reading i am currently reading the shadows of storm cliff hall by lauren smith lauren sent this to me and uh, i have a physical copy of it but i also found it on audible escape and i am listening i think i found it on audible escape i think so uh but i'm listening to it and so far it's really intriguing um it's a gothic romance and i don't read those very often but it is coming to me at the perfect time because i sort of need um more gothic romance in my life i'm also going to be reading because of you by fabiola francisco this is a novella that's going to be in the aced anthology that will be coming out in the next couple weeks and I will be reading After We Collide by Anna Todd. Don't ask. Other than that, let me know if you have read any of the books that I have just talked about. Do I 
make it sound like you guys want to go out and read these books that I have talked about, uh, let me know down in the comment section. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel, my Ko-fi, my PayPal, my Amazon wish list, and all of my affiliate links are down there as well. Also, if you are looking for a specific book or if you missed a book cover that you think you want to read or whatever or something sounds familiar or uh, interesting, make sure you check the description box because I timestamp all of the books that I have went over and you can go back to that specific uh, review at the time. So there we go. Other than that, thank you for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.